What's up my beautiful mother suckers? How are you guys doing today? Thank you for tuning in wherever you're watching this. Lunch, dinner, on your break, on the toilet, in the shower, anywhere. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Bears G here sending in all the way from Harbor Island, San Diego Bay, right behind me. I'm gonna be fishing the morning bite. Hopefully something out here is biting. It is Saturday morning, September 11th, here in San Diego Bay. It's currently 6.50 a.m. And yeah, I know September 11th, you guys. Yeah, let's let's not talk about that. But my goal out here today is to catch some fish in San Diego Bay. What am I going to be throwing? I'm going to be throwing a lot of um, lighter jigs, smaller jigs, little top water, little jerk baits, little plastics, little irons. We'll see. Cause I only brought out my finesse gear. Well, I call it finesse, 15 grams and under here in San Diego Bay. I think that's finesse. I don't know what's been going on out here. I heard the bite has been completely garbage and tough in San Diego Bay. But I hear Mission Bay has been pretty good, but I just never made my way out that way. Eventually, I'll make my way out to Mission Bay. But right now, San Diego Bay is the spot to go to. Close to home, easy to get to, always parking for the most part, but we'll see. So yeah, I brought out two combos, both spinning a medium light and a light, I believe, and small backpack. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know what to expect. Saturday morning, the weekend just began. Let's see what's out here. So you guys stay tuned and hopefully I catch something. All right, let's go. All right, guys, let's start this morning off somewhat right. It is the low tide right now and the water looks pretty good. I think the tide just completely dropped literally right now. There might be a lot of grass in the water or something because I'm losing my action probably like five pops in. So top water might be out of the equation this morning. We'll see, a couple more casts. Yeah, no go on the top. Switch it back up. So top water no go. Let's go uh, soft plastic. <laughs> to be honest with you guys, I enjoy fishing the left side of harbor, but never like the far left. <laughs> If I don't get anything, I might have to make a move a little bit to my right. Morning. Morning. Channel rules, man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> my son watching that every, every new episode. Just don't get back on there, dude. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Yeah. Follow you on Instagram, too. What's the name? Uh, Mighty Oak. Oh, that's you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good luck, man. There it is. There it is. Not bad. Not bad at all. I will take it. There it is, guys. First bass of the morning on the Major Craft 7 gram jig head with the Kitech Easy Shiner three inch white. This guy's about eight inches, nine, 10 at most. Not legal, but a good one to start the morning. Just like that, came right off. Not bad at all. <laughs> all right, dude, till next time. I was just working this <laughs> the best of my ability. I'm getting probably about 
35 yards at most with my cast since it's such a light bait or a light jig head, seven grams. This is the Major Craft Swim Head right here with the Kitek three inch Easy Shiner. So with it being this light and the little gusts of wind we're having, it's pretty tough to get this far out there, but tide's low, so I'm assuming the bass is just hanging out at the bottom. Well, you know what? Let's get back out there. You know what, guys? I think I'm gonna take a walk. First, gotta have my coffee. Traveling light today, and uh, take a little walk around, see, see what's popping. Woo, nope. Nope, 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 nope. That rock could have killed me. So the rod I'm using here is another prototype. This is the 7.62 piece medium light. And it handled that fish pretty well. So hopefully I catch something bigger. And the reel I have matched with this rod is the Daiwa BGMQ 3000. Probably by far one of my favorite line of uh, spinning reels for the price. I own the 2500, 3000, 4000, and 5000. I am contemplating on getting another 25 or 3000. There it is. Oh. Some head shakes on this guy. Dude, this guy took it. Good one, too. Alright. Another one. Way bigger. Hell yeah. Here's the second one of the morning. Got them on the same setup on a seven gram major craft swim head with the Kitek three inch easy shiner. This guy's about 12 inches. Not bad. Pretty damn cool. Two fish in about 15 minutes. I took the bait off the line so I can show you guys where it was hooked and what I was using. So let's let him go. <laughs> Like I said, guys, you guys can never go wrong with the Kitek baits. Even though they're not as durable as you wish they would be, they get bit. I've caught Legal Halibut, Bonito, Spotty, Sandy, all kinds of bass with the shit. So give it a try if you ever run into any. And I recommend smaller size. Anything from a 3.5 down to uh, two and a half, one inch, give or take. If you guys have the setup to throw it, do it. All right, let's get back to it. Thanks, man. <laughs> anything? I haven't got anything yet. Got like 20, 30 minutes ago. Oh, yeah, it's been it's been kind of tough right now. All right, so what I'm doing right now is I am creating my own Maki jig. Colorado blade, I believe, or willow blade, whichever it is. You guys can look it up. Always get them confused. So I got it on a one-way swivel, just like what you see on the Major Kajik Para spins. Slap this guy on a micro right here. Here we go. Oh, 
right, good luck, Barry. For sure. Going to be throwing the custom or homemade, you want to call it, Maki jig. But this is on the Major Craft Jig Para Micro with a little bleed at the end with a one-way swivel. Uh, they don't sell these right now in the States, but um, they're pretty damn popular in Japan. I made my own with the Slim. I think it was in the last video or two videos ago. And I caught a spotty with it, with the uh, Jig Para Micro Slim. So hopefully this one works just as good. You all right, man? Oh, it happens, dude. Yeah, it happens, man. It wasn't meant to be. How many you get already? Uh, that was it. Dang. Yeah. Bite's tough, man. Tough crowd. All right, time to make a move. Well, first spot was okay. I mean, caught two spotties, not bad at all. I mean, they're bigger than what I've been catching. So, I mean, I only caught one legal so far this year. It was like, I think 15, 14 and a half. I don't know, I don't remember. It doesn't matter, whatever, that was the past. Let's not talk about the past. So yeah, I mean, uh, dude, Harbor Island is producing, but the bite is not hot. The tide is still fairly low. It's about like two and a half feet right now. It's still swinging to the incoming tide. So maybe that'll bring in uh, more fish, more bait fish, who knows? I don't know, I got about an hour left to fish. I've already been out here for an hour and a half. Three bites, two fish. So I'm, I'm pretty happy. I mean, I enjoy coming out here, enjoy, you know, the, the view of downtown, even though it smells really, really bad over there. And, you know, I, I just enjoy being out here. Fresh air, sunny day, beat the heat. And fishing is great. I mean, not everybody can do this, all right? Not everybody can come out every weekend to fish and enjoy what we have here in San Diego. I mean, I try to come out every weekend. I don't even come out every weekend. I come out randomly throughout the week. Don't take it for granted, guys. Just come out, enjoy it, fish, walk, jog, do something. And, you know, if you catch a fish if, while you're fishing, of course, uh, remember, that's just a bonus. The fish is the bonus. Fishing out here, being out here is, um, you know, is a privilege, is, is, is a luxury. So keep that in mind. Not everybody can do it. All right, let's not get all sentimental and all that crap. On to the next spot. Let's go. All right, guys, I'm on the right side. It is 8.32. Luckily, I found parking, and obviously, there's more parking behind me. And uh, let's go. Hmm. 2.3 shad. Should get bit. We will see. I can always add a blade on these major craft heads, which is pretty damn cool. Very, very modular. There's less fishermen on this side for some reason. Well, where I'm at exactly. I mean, to my left, there's a couple guys about two spots down that way, baiting and waiting. There's uh, four guys all the way down by Tom Ham's past the park. Four guys, yeah, fishing. And I'm like the only one within the, from that end to that end, maybe about 200 yard radius. I see something sticks this shad. I see some bait busting in the water. Little tiny, you know, sporadic ones here and there. So hopefully I'm matching the hatch.
Ooh, that was a bite. Damn it. Damn it. Missed it. So I put this on a lighter rod. I did bring a light rod out, so maybe I get more distance with that. Seven grams. All right, let me move this over to a lighter rod. Because for a medium light, this is a seven gram bait with minor wind. I'm not getting the distance I want. Let's see if we can fix that. Right, this one is the 72 light two piece with a Daiwa BG 2500. This is probably my lightest spinning setup. Let's see the distance I get with the same exact bait, 15 pound test braid to 12 pound liter fluoro. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I get way better distance. See, just that change up in rod to dial it with your baits will make a big difference. So you guys should try that. And now let's see if anything bites. There it is. There it is. No! <laughs> right in the grass. Whatever. They hit like right there. That mother asshole. There it is. No, not again. <laughs> He's hitting right at the grass. Dude, they're smashing it right by the grass. It got hot as hell out there. I mean, it got hot. My feet was getting cooked by the sun. It, <laughs> it's about mm, 82, 83 degrees right now. To a lot of people that aren't from San Diego are gonna say, oh, you should go to Arizona. Check the heat over there or the humidity in Texas and Florida. Oh my God, you can't. Yeah, I don't care. I'm in San Diego, it's hot. When it hits about like 95, 92 degrees over here, it's hot you know why because we are acclimated to the weather here so if you live here you'd understand all right let me sum up my day i caught two fish two spotties one was about eight inches the other one was about 12 11. they're pretty solid from what i've been catching out here and i had a good time uh, until it got really hot it looks like the spotties were keying in on small baits like three inch two and a half inch 2.8 paddle tails or curly tails i seen some guys getting them on micro spins and micro irons. I did see someone snag a fish. Not sure what kind of fish it was, but it was snagged. Um, I'm pretty sure it was accidental. And I did see mullet jumping. It's kind of rare to see a mullet jump in Harbor Island. But yeah, uh, it looks like the fish was keying in on micro baits. So I moved over to the right side uh, after the left side died down a lot. Uh, there were still guys fishing over there. I'm pretty sure they're still catching fish. But for me, I just wanted to move around and see what else, you know, San Diego Bay has to offer or Harbor Island. So I went over to the right side and I tried the Maki jig over here and it failed miserably. So I moved over to the Major Craft Parawarm Shad 2.3 inch, I believe, 2.3 or 2.5. It'll be in the description below. Be sure to check that out. 
and I was getting bit like on super super duper slow retrieve at the bottom again I am fishing the incoming tide I did get here when the tide peak its lowest so it's still swinging right now there's still about maybe a good two three hours left of decent fishing but yeah back to what I was doing so I moved over to like the 1.3 little tiny pair of worm grubs and they were getting bit they just weren't committing short bites then again the bait is 1.3 inch so i'm assuming the fish that was biting was maybe a two three inch spotty sandy calico i don't know but yeah i mean it is what it is it's fishing again not catching i came out here with one mission trying to catch them all big or small you already know and i caught some just not a lot <laughs> also if you guys like this kind of content out here in san diego bay be sure to drop a thumbs up subscribe if you already have not and Again, everything I use in this video will be in the description below. Be sure to check that out. Rods, reels, everything. Even this new prototype will be listed below. If you guys enjoyed this video, again, please drop a thumbs up. It will help me out. Thanks a lot for watching. If you're still on the toilet by the end of this video, you need to go to the doctor. But other than that, guys, thanks a lot for watching. As always, good fishing and peace the hell out.